Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mark Kane. Welcome to News 3 Now at Noon. Right now, much of southern Wisconsin getting hit with a blast of wintry weather. This morning, first started out, first started out as rain and quickly turned into a heavy snowstorm, dumping multiple inches of heavy, wet snow in the area. An alert day is in effect. Let's head out to the weather patio. Meteorologist Greg Barnhart has a look at your certified most... Yeah, right now we're starting to see a little bit of the decrease in the snow rate. Still got some big flakes falling right now, but overall the snow rate is starting to decrease, which means we're going to see some more melting going on. Already starting to see that. Right now we have winter storm warnings till 6 p.m., but I think really a lot of this is going to be over with by 2 or 3. You can start seeing the heavier snow band is starting to ramp up, but really starting to shrink really over areas right now. Further east and south, it kind of transitions to rain or just light snow rate makes. If you go further west, like towards Lone Rock and those areas, they've already tapered off and starting to see less snow, maybe a flurry or drizzle. And the temperatures overall are still in the mid 30s, even getting warmer. So that's the good news. The melting is going to begin. We picked up quite a bit, two to five, even more inches in the last three to four hours. Quite a heavy rate of snowfall. Visibility still got that area corridor of Dubuque zero up to Madison one, and then even half a mile to go to Fond du Lac. But to the west and north, Lone Rock's all the way up to seven. They were down to zero just an hour ago. So improvements are starting to come up with that's the good news. The winds also start to decrease to the west. They were blowing pretty good, but now we're only at 7 miles Lone Rock, 18 Dubuque, but still gusty and blowing quite strong as you go Madison eastward, but to the trend is going down as you go west. So positive news on all this as we go out and further out. A breakdown when we're going to actually see more improvement and how that weekend looks, and maybe if we'll see another additional snowstorm or rain come Valentine's Day. A bit later in the broadcast. All right. Check back with you later, Greg. Thank you. We are bringing you live team coverage as the storm continues. Several roads are closed around the UW-Madison campus. Our Catherine Merck joins us live now from downtown Madison. Catherine, what are you seeing? Hi, Mark. I'm just a couple of blocks down from the state capitol here on East Wash, and we're taking a look at some of these road conditions that Greg's talking about. As you can see here, the snow is making it difficult for drivers to make their way toward the capitol. We've seen some plows come through here, and it's now getting a little bit easier, but I'm seeing these cars take it slower than they normally would and make sure that they're keeping an eye on these roads as the visibility is difficult with some of the snow that continues to come down. And like I was saying about those plows, when they come by, you can see this slush just build up on the side here showing just how thick that this snow really is coming down right now. That thick snow that those drivers are worried about is actually some things that some of those kiddos might have fun doing later this afternoon. It's perfect packing snow for snowmen and snow forts and all those fun things. So for those kiddos who got school canceled today, some fun's in store for them. But as for those road conditions, we're going to continue to provide updates on what that looks like throughout the rest of our newscasts. Make sure to stick with us. Reporting live in downtown Madison, I'm Catherine Merck with News 3 Now. And Catherine, you got it right. Take it slow.